and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later on for some Grixis Control in Mythic. We're going to give it another try. The last time we played Grixis Control, it didn't go so well. And we talked about some of the downfalls of Grixis, how there are just such a wide variety of decks right now, and it's hard to have everything covered from all of the decks. And that's one. And then two, there's also Esper, uh, you know, Esper Midrange, Esper Control, which Esper kind of has all the same stuff that Grixis does and kind of does it a little bit better. And so that's also like the other the other problem is Esper is really good also um, as far as like a control deck goes. So Grixis is struggling here in the format, but I'm still trying to make it work. Still trying to make it work. And this specific 75 that we're going to be playing here today was a um, was a, a five zero deck list from Magic Online that was published, and I really I really liked the a lot of the card choices here, and there were a lot of the cards that I was kind of thinking about uh, trying to put together. But I think this looked like a very solid uh, list, so I wanted to play this list. Let me see if I can figure find who it was. It was, it was a Magic Online person named Philly Drew that got this list published. Looks pretty good. So basically, uh, things I like about it. I like splitting the, the Narsets and the Chandras. I like playing both of them. I don't want to just be all in on Chandra. Um, but the the minus the reason why we're playing Chandra, I guess if you didn't realize, is the minus two ability is really nice, allowing us to recast removal spells and discard spells and everything like that. So I really like the minus two ability here. But you don't want to just have like a ton of Chandras because what if you don't have spells in your graveyard? Or, you know, if you draw like multiple Chandras, it may not be as impactful. So... We got some Narsets also, because the Narsets can minus two and, and find you some spell. Um, but, you know, Narset only really just does that, like, twice and then doesn't do anything else, where Chandra can, you know, like, zero and make some elementals and pick off to fairies and, you know, just do some other stuff. So I like splitting those up quite a bit. I like playing a Command the Dreadhorde in the main deck. Sure, we don't have very much life life gain. We have a couple Enter the God Eternals, and we got this Moment of Craving. But Grixis is the kind of deck that does a good job of killing a lot of things and staying alive for a little bit, but then it may run out of gas. And if you are able to trade removal spells for creatures and discard some, some creatures and planeswalkers and stuff like that, stay alive for a little bit, maybe you can get a, a good Command the Dread Horde in there. Um, I like playing this card, playing one of that card. Of course, we're going for each of the of the nickel bolases. Our best hands are whenever we curve out into Dragon God. That's our those are our, our best hands. Dragon God is incredible on curve whenever you're interacting with the opponent. And I like that we're going with the Kefnets too. Just a very good defensive card. Uh, works so well with Enter the God Eternals. Works very well with Dispersal as well. Um, so yeah, I like that we're playing a couple Kefnets, a couple Enter the God Eternals. I think this is a pretty good looking list. Um, so removal spell wise, as you see here, we have a lot of like one of, so we need moment of craving for like a Danto Vanguard, um, and some of the other aggro decks cast down is perfect right now because it kills, um, it kills Brineborn cutthroat and night pack ambusher as from the flash deck. So it's a two man removal spell. It doesn't trade down with Brineborn cutthroat and kills both of them. And then we also have a tyrant scorn, which, um, can can still like kill almost everything in the format you know like a lot of the smaller stuff but then can also against legendary creatures and bigger things you can still use the bounce part uh, which can come in handy for sure and you can even bounce and save your own kefnet or ravager from removal if you need to there a lot of handy things to do with the tyrants tyrant scorn so they are all kind of situational so i like that we're we got our removal split up whole lot of ritual slits because of nissa i like that too and there we go. This is our deck. Let's give it a try. So we're going Grixis Control. We'll go ahead and take it on over to Ranked. We'll play five matches in Ranked here and see how we do in the five matches. Ideally, we'll go three and two. That's what we want to do with Ranked. Uh, that, you know, gets us ahead. That's winning 60%. That's a good win rate. So ideally, we'll go three and two, hopefully. Yeah, Drawn with Dreams does work so well with Kefnet. That is true. Um, the four mana slot in this deck's already pretty full, pretty full though, between Nicol Bolas, the Ravager, Kefnet, and 
uh, Ritual of Soot. I think if you would be playing Do Drawn from Dreams, you'd probably have to cut a Nicol Bolas Ravager. And I don't know if you really want to be doing that. Hey, what's up, good brother? Um, we lost to Vampires with the Abundance deck. But it felt pretty close. I We won game one. I don't think I sideboarded too well for game two. And game three, our opponent had one of the best hands I've ever seen from a Vampire deck. And every single one of our draw steps was a land. Like both both of those were our true statements, and so we got annihilated. Um, let's see. After we mulliganed. All right, so Big Teferi is the the card that's like the scariest, but we do have another Thought Razor for it. They don't have any blue mana, as far as Narset goes. I'm gonna take the Prison Realm. You know, we don't, we're at Grixis. We don't deal with enchantments very well. By very well, I mean it, like, at all. So, I'm going to be taking, let's just take that enchantment. Hey, what's up, 619? Okay, another red, white land. Let's take Teferi. Yes, please, on the land. Oh yeah, definitely drawn. Yeah, I think building around drawn drawn from dreams and Kefnet is really nice, and I could see I could see that being a really good combination post uh, for like just blue decks post uh, rotation whenever blue decks are losing Hero of Dominaria. All right, so going with the Kefnet here because if we play the Ravager, they could you know double burn spell kill Ravager. Yeah, definitely like Kefnet in an Arc Light deck. Definitely. Hmm. All right, let's go ahead and trade Ravager for three spells. Let it get shocked and striked, but then they also have to discard something else. It's still three for one. Three for one's probably pretty nice. Take that. It's your favorite born in there. Uh, sure. Take nine. <laughs> That's pretty good. They counter it. We still have it in our hand to, to try it again. <laughs> That's pretty silly. All right, so their Jeskai control stuff. Contempt. Noxious Grasp kills things. War boss is, like, kind of cool, but also, like, dice to shock, so not that cool. This is 66 here, 64. Hmm. Cards I'm considering cutting are Noxious Grasp, Disdainful Stroke. Yeah, Disdainful Stroke's going to be out of here. And we're going to trim one Noxious Grasp. Because you know, they could have like Sarkin and Narset and 
all these other things that Noctis Grass was not killing. Maybe just cut Noctis Grass all together. Yeah, it's fine. The objective of Chandra in the deck is to be able to minus and recast removal spells like Bedevil or discard spell like Thought Erasure. Usually playing it, you know, like turn five, like play it, minus, get a Thought Erasure or something like that. And of course, it also just like does, it, does a really good job of fighting three mana Teferi and Narset and just other Planeswalkers like that. The other three mana Planeswalkers. Yep, and you can also add loyalty counters to Bolos for the ultimate as well. Uh, I guess I should have played the red land. Whoops. All right, got punished. I was just kind of talking and I f forgot to play the red land. <laughs> the focus Streaming's hard. <laughs> I know, it was just my bad. It wasn't streaming's fault. Another veto? Hone your prowess. Honestly, I probably should have just gone with Kefnet here. All right, I need to, to focus. I, I did not play this game very well. Not was was not focused this game at all. So I think I should have just play Kefnet because like what's gonna what's gonna happen if I play Kefnet? Like they they don't get to veto the Kefnet. Uh, if they go if they go to Fairy and Tuck Kefnet, then I have Chandra that kills to Fairy and Narset. If they go to Fairy, tick up to be able to hold on to Vito, then we duress away Vito and then play Chandra and still kill to Fairy and Narset. So honestly, I should have Hurry. been playing the Kefnet there. We would have been in in a good spot basically no matter what they chose. And really would have had that that fairy covered. <laughs> Remember this one? No promise, no so yeah, getting rid of the shocks, they don't get to shock uh, shock the Chandra. Yeah, Chandra with this card is, is pretty nasty. Still doing good. Still doing good. I know Chandra does have like the the best voice lines. I agree. Oh, darn it! Decline. Basically, always like revealing, but 
We shouldn't really be revealing there. Hmm. So yeah, I can I can duress plus dragon god. But then that gets rid of my Chandra. We can do this together. We're not really in any rush. We're super ahead on the battlefield anyway. Let's let's just put the loyalty counter on Chandra. So next turn I can duress. Or we're just gonna do this. Just gonna take away their hand. So no dragon god this turn, but they're just not gonna have a hand anymore. Hmm. That's a good card. Oh, they're so cute. All right. Well, they're just dead. All right. Good start for Grixis Control. I want to know. All right, let's keep it going. Yeah, Chandra did a lot of stuff for us, for sure there. Chandra killed the Narset and the Teferi with the, make, by making creatures. Uh, she got to recast a discard spell, a duress. If only one of these was a shock land. I'm still going to keep this on the draw, though. We're going to hopefully draw a shock land here on turn one. Shock land. No. <laughs> uh, well, let's do this. If only I played Sulphur Falls. Oh no. Oh no. That's not ideal. Guess I should have led with Sulphur Falls turn one instead of Dragon Skull Summit. Um. Yeah, the reanimator decks, I was pretty impressed with both Grixis and Sultai playing both of those. I liked both of them. I'm not sure which one is the best, to be honest. If you're saying like you're looking for like the best one, I'm I'm not sure there. Yeah, get that crisis out of there. I thought Eraser came right on time. Sorry, I'm late. Yeah, you're pretty That's late. More like it. Hmm. So my plan here is just to go Dragon God into command. Don't worry, I got this. The gods once, I am one again. No, I guess command's not really doing a whole I lot. Return one day. Right now. You have no weakness I cannot exploit. Let's try this. Mere scratches. I have 
for the plan. My intellect is without limit. Hmm. All right, so nothing to kill a planeswalker if I play Chandra. I mean, so I could just Chandra and zero and hit Teferi twice. Ravager doesn't do a whole lot for me. Like if I play Ravager, they just bounce. They just bounce it. <laughs> my internet is with, without limits. Say hi to my fiery friends. Time for plan B. Here goes nothing. Now things are getting heated. Hey, Corn and Jen. Hey, y'all. So yeah, making them discard that card before making them exile. Return. Witness a mote of my power. I guess I should have killed the Teferi too. They they really should have just exiled the Teferi. These are great. This is hardly my worst defeat. Yeah, I should have killed Teferi first and then ticked up Nickel Balls Dragon God. No, we just played. This is our second match. So we are 1 0 here, and we are up a game now. Hmm. So counter magic can be pretty tough. Since they're playing Teferi. I want to Unward Ego away Krasis. I want Krasis out of their deck. Because Krasis... I guess Krasis and Manipulation. Both of those are cards that could be worth a whole lot of cards. But Krasis in particular. Enter the God Eternals. Command the Dread Horde. Those can go... Don't think I really want to play War Boss over other other cards. Hey JBW or Woodward, thanks for the kind words. I am having a good day today. Thanks for asking. Let's see. Get rid of Moment Craving. Yeah, having all these other noxious grasps in. All right, and we won't play the contempt. Let's go with this. Absolutely love this card right here. These are good too. Definitely wish we had one blue source. Thank you. Okay, I wouldn't mind another one now. Or a dragon god. Darn, I can't just sit back and ask for things into perpetuity. Help 
you no longer. The land fights for us. And this is why we kept the hand. Because we could beat we could beat Nessa. Ritual of Set is amazing. Definitely they could have had like Dovin's Veto or Negate here, so I'm just gonna lead off with the Kefnet instead of Dragon God. Trust me. You'll thank me later. Alright, now we'll go Dragon God, now they're tapped out. The immortal Nicole Bolas will be your end. We no. will meet again. My schemes are never ending. Nice, Sheep Mage. You've been having some good success with Grix's control right now? Very good. Oh no, Devout Decree. Your bloodline. Boo. Resistance. Boo. That scry went by pretty fast. I didn't see if they went up or down there. I didn't put a tie bar on today. Let's go graveyard. I should be playing the Narset before playing that land, so I have more information about. Yeah, like I I just put it into play tapped, but we could hit Thought Erasure here. I shouldn't play that land first. If you wish to surrender, meditate. Okay, well we didn't didn't hit anything, so I guess it doesn't really matter. So if I attack, then Narset dies to Nissa. I don't know if that the four damage is gonna really be how we win the game. Let's let's not have Narset die to Nissa. Yeah, I've I've definitely won with Nickel Bowl's ultimate in the past. We haven't we haven't at all today yet. The land shall conquer you. Can I go full control here? Can I reveal and then in response bedevil? I guess. Perfect. Put thoughtfulness before action. So if I take the Chandra, we get to kill the Nissa, but then they kill my Chandra. Or no, they can't kill Chandra, they would kill Narset. That's fine. We'll find another Nicol Bolas Dragon God. I don't want to have full control on anymore. Uh, won't lie, I'm a pretty great pyromancer. Go get him, buddies. I must go.
Get okay. Him, buddies. Probably should be putting a counter on Chandra there. I'm known for my excellent time. Oh, wow. I've not bowling time. not bouncing Ravager. Bounce Ravager that could kill Chandra. All right, we'll have the Chandra help get more counters on the Nickel Bulls, the Arisen too. Yeah, that's over. All right, now we're 2-0. Pretty good showing so far for Grixis. We have been drawn well. Our spells have been lining up. I like us not facing Esper. I don't want to face Esper. Just played against Mono Blue with Phoenix Reanimator Hybrid and finaled back two bonds on Drakes to win. There you go. That's pretty sweet. Yeah, we can try this. Discovery's good. Hello. Hey, QQ. Oops. All right. Temple Garden, which means Bant. I really hope we draw a land next turn. Because if we don't, then I probably have to Discovery, where I'd rather Thought Erasure. Yay. That's not a land. That's unfortunate. Ties that bind us all. <laughs> a death and taxes list in this format? What's a death and taxes list supposed to look like? What what cards do you want to play in a death and taxes list? Yeah, there's like Tithe Taker. Is like all we got. That's the only thing I can think of. Yeah, smothering Tithe, there you go. Behold, nature's true power. And that top deck Nessa is really unfortunate for us. I 
I don't have any out. My well, my out is I could play Kefnet and then they steal it, and then I don't have any out. All right, how do we do this last time? Get these things in. Get the Enter the God Eternals out, Command out. Craving out. Yeah, they had four blue with uh, Nissa on tapping on land. Because they just drew the third blue the last turn. And again, this hand would be awesome if we had an untap land. So we're going to keep it, though. We're going to go with the Sulphur Falls this time, so if we draw a basic swamp. Okay, this time we didn't draw the basic swamp. Is our land. So our, our Thought Erasure next turn is just going to eat the Negate, so we might as well take the Negate so that uh, we get the Surveil one instead of just not getting the Surveil one. I would have liked to play Discovery, hit a land drop, and then play Thought Erasure, but we didn't. Like, that's it's too risky, because if we don't hit the land drop, we lose to Nyssa on the spot. And besides that, I don't have, like, a blue-black land, so I'd have to, like, pick one of the two and then just hope we find the other one. And that also is pretty risky. So obviously, you know, we can Dragon God kill the Shalai, but then they manipulate the Dragon God, and that's a big problem. I'll just get rid of the lands, even though I, I want land. Yeah, that's a good card. That keeps them from being able to cast Mass Manipulation. Then I'm one land away from being able to have Chandra minus and Tyrant Scorn bounce the Shalai. That gives them another blue source again, so now they can manipulate. If it wasn't for mass manipulation, I'd really like where we're at, but that mass manipulation 
is a beating. And this cast out not killing Shalai. Thought Erasure, yeah, with, with them having Shalai out, Thought Erasure doesn't do anything. I mean, I, I have a bunch of Bedevils. We just didn't, we haven't found Bedevil. I do have a bunch of Bedevils. And I have, I got a bunch of Bedevils and a bunch of Noxus Grasps from sideboarding. So I either activate Ascanta, or if I if I go Chandra, bounce. Am I scared of them stealing Chandra? Not really. Living in a monastery full of firebrands. I think on my feet. In exchange for eternal servitude. Bleh. Don't worry, I brought company. <clears throat> you can't ca we can't cast Thought Erasure. They have hexproof. We can't do that. So yeah, just trying to trying to do that so that we could still kill the bolus with Chandra. Conceivable. I outsmarted you eons ago. Noxious Grasp. No, Noxious Grasp. Don't worry, I brought company. My revenge will be painful. Um, both the Zyler, both those decks are good. You can take you can take either deck, to F and M. You know, whichever whichever one you'd rather play, kind of thing. It's you know, it's up to you. Whichever one you want to play. All right, we beat the Bant deck, lost to the Bant deck.
GG's Clive, good games. All right, we'll get the watery grave out here. Certainly a slower hand, but I like turn five Dragon God on the play. We'll see if we draw some things to fill in the curve. Not an ideal draw there. If this is flash or mono blue, our expensive sorceries are going to be pretty tough. And that's what it looks like. It's one of those two. This is not good. This is not a good hand for this matchup. Um. Yeah, we're kind of finding out about Grixis right now. I think it's it's okay. It's definitely not one of the best decks or anything like that, but... It's all about having like the cards line up. Like Grixis has some individually very good cards, but they don't always line up because you are a reactive deck. Yes, you can cast Dispersal with Chandra's minus two with Discovery Dispersal in the graveyard. So you are definitely allowed to do that. That didn't work out. That didn't work out at all. So you cannot, you can't do that, because that was just, that rule was just changed recently. Oh, well, never mind then. I'm not a judge. Will resonate throughout the multiverse. Your existence is so is this just mono blue? Or is this just a, a blue-green deck that's drawn all their blue stuff? Looks like mono blue, considering Dive Down and Curious Obsession. But you don't see too many cutthroats in mono blue. This is kind of a different build of mono blue. Why is that being cast right now? But of the time planes won't let your weak minds crumble. I was really bad tapping from the auto tapper to have only one black source up. I should have looked at that because we could have found Bedevil, not been able to play it. Um, yeah, budget deck other than mono blue. I mean, it's really whatever your definition of budget is. Honestly, it's 
like your whatever is in your arena collection is probably going to be different also i would re really just kind of go through it and just kind of look through all the decks you know just kind of go through look at all the deck lists and everything see what you have in your collection see what you can get close to what you want to like what you like to play all that kind of stuff standards wide open it's not like there's one or two decks that you have to play to get to mythic you can play you know 15 different decks you can make your own kind of deck you know it's Everything's wide open, basically. All right, yeah, we're just gonna minus. I have just the trick for this. So yeah, I guess I guess you kind of have to go through and see see what you like kind of thing hmm so what are we taking out here All right, I'm taking out Chandra. Yeah, Chandra's going to go. I don't love having all these Enter the God Eternals or Nicol Boluses, but they're they're both very good. Maybe Enter the God Eternals isn't really that good. And Narsa kind of stops Curious Obsession. All right, what if we did that? Hey, Joe Bags, good afternoon. Um, you could play Big Chandra in here. I'm not sure if it's that necessary, though. It's still very slow against Mono Blue and Simic Flash. I don't like it's still a six mana card. Even if they can't counter it, I don't think it's really winning you games that you, you weren't gonna win, most likely. Six is a lot of a lot of mana. This looks like a more traditional mono blue start. No. No more curious, obses curious obsessions. No more of those. So if I would have gone Cafnet, you know, they would have been able to trickster Cafnet. But I guess I should have done that.
We will hopefully draw another land where I can duress and Dragon God next turn. And hopefully they don't have anything else for that. Hey, Sock Monkey. Alright, well, I'm just dead. Very good hand they had there. I'll give that one to them. I'll give that one to them. Very good hand. They have one drop Curious Obsession, and then two drop Flash Creature, and another Curious Obsession. That's pretty good. Pretty good. Okay. Hmm. So I could either like go for the retorts or go for like start going for the flash creatures. just take Curious Obsession. We don't get like the, the good blowout with like the removal spell there, but If I let them obsession this, they'd have to have obsession plus counter spell plus then mean also not draw removal this next turn. All right, so no protection spell from them. It's definitely risky me waiting on Ritual of Set.
So now unless they play another spell after the cutthroat, they won't have five power. I have other schemes to attend. <laughs> you have no weakness. All right, let's draw land. Thought Erasure plus Ritual is set. That'd be great. Oh man, that'd be great. Well, St Storm Tamer does counter Thought Erasure. <laughs> Playing hero are we? I will return. Witness a moat of my power. Alright, so they did have the counter spell. It's really hoping for not a counter spell here. Overwhelming. been a weird game. So I guess Narset is the card I could hit here. The reason why to do that main phase, and it looks like we did hit Narset. I know We're looking for Bolas. Um, give me this. Good game. Uh, not necessarily. Yeah, if we're going to be killing the creature, shouldn't, like, so why didn't I just cast the Bedevil during their upkeep instead of during after they drew a card? Because the reason why is because I, like, if they if they draw the counter spell and they counter my Bedevil, I'm fine with that. I wanted the I wanted the Bedevil to get countered so that Ritual of Soot would resolve. So I wanted them to, to draw their card. I wanted them to, if they drew counter spell, to, to counter that Bedevil. Like, I was, I wanted that to get countered. That's why I waited. All right, three and one. So already a success. We talked about before, we we're just hoping to go three, two. So Grix is already looking pretty good. And it can, yeah, already looking good even if we lose this. And it could be looking great if we win it. Yeah, Zechariah, that list that link doesn't work. Hmm. Probably mulligan this on the draw, but definitely like definitely really like Ritual of Sid against a whole lot of decks. And so you know, we'll discovery just look for lands. Yeah, they could have chose not to counter, but then that would have been like the same as casting it during their upkeep. It still would have been killing their creature. 
Ugh. This is a feather deck. Like, Thought Erasure is, like, good against feather, too. Just don't have lands, though. What is this? What is a shuffler? Ditch, ditch two Thought Erasures, get another Thought Erasure? Oh, maybe not a feather deck. So yeah, the Ravager will get Justice Striked here, but we're, you know, we're casting Mind Rot. You know, we're getting two cards out of their hand. So getting a land and, and the Justice Strike. Giving them another turn to maybe play some kind of creature into Soot. Hey, Kill Switcher. Nice. Vancouver Island. That sounds awesome. Today's going very good. Sounds like you're having a good day as well. All right, so they have a bolt. Do I want to trade Nickel Balls the Ravager for a hero and a bolt? I mean, obviously, I can just ritual. But yeah, sure. The reason why I'm making that trade is because Dragon God just wins games. And them having the least amount of cards possible when I'm playing Dragon God. My intellect is without limit. So Big Chandra is perfectly fine, but I'm not missing I'm not missing the card. I think Big Chandra is good against other control decks. I think it's I think it's kind of too slow. Like, sure, it doesn't get countered by like mono blue and, and stuff, but I think it's too slow in those kind of matchups for a six mana card that you know, they can even just have like dive down to get rid of the the minus. They have like Tempest Gin or the Nightpack Ambusher. Like those things are pretty big. Like they survive the the minus three. They have to get minus xed. What are we doing? We're playing against a Boros deck. Boros cards. Let's get this thing in. Hmm. Guess I could play Noxious Grasp. Yeah, they're probably gonna have like Aurelia's. It'll be like tough to kill. Maybe we want you. Could certainly be a feather deck. Let's get rid of you. Question mark. Let's get rid of you. Yeah, you're out of here. You're out of here. One of you, one of you. Looks fine. <laughs> yeah, that's true. They're just a strike, heroic reinforcements, shock, hero. Not not anything that jumps off the page of exactly what they're doing. I could definitely see like Tajik, Aurelia, maybe a feather. Maybe not. Feather makes a, a token with hero. I don't think it's like a dedicated feather deck, to be fair.
I don't know, they didn't really even think about a protection spell there. So obviously, Ritual of Soot would have been a better value play, but kind of testing the water to see what we got over here. Man, Prison Realm. At least it's Kefnet, not like Nicobolas. We could just put Kefnet back. I don't like enchantments. Alright, they scry to the top, which means we should probably EGE. ETGE. It's probably the Gideon on top. Probably going that way. Plus, if I target myself, obviously we get rid of the Kefnet. We don't want to do that, so definitely got to target them. So much heroism over here. Alright, we're down to 10. Let's get some kind of spell. Or a land. That's what I was saving the Contempt for. Day for justice. Well, that's unfortunate. I believe in you. Take any spell. There we go. Spell. Another day, villain. I like it. And them doing the whole mentor thing didn't really matter. I didn't have to like use that before they mentored because you know we just block whatever they mentor. We got over here a shock. Ah, just a strike. I want to find some kind of some kind of thing to pull pull ahead. It's not really what ritual set is. I'm 
to find another threat. There we go. Perfect. Perfect. All right, GG's. Very good run for Grixis Control here. Yeah, I'd say, I'd have to, to say I really liked this list that we had. Uh, we did get to avoid Esper. That was probably the one matchup that I talked about how I didn't really want to face. Our one loss was to Bant, where we also beat Bant. I think the Bant, like the specific Bant decks were, were a good matchup for us. Uh, you know, things didn't go our way in our loss. But I wouldn't mind playing that kind of matchup over and over. But yeah, I liked what we had going on here. Basically everything, as I talked about at the beginning of the video, talked about the different cards, they all kind of played up. Enter the God Eternals wasn't spectacular, but it was all right. We we did sideboard it out a good amount, though, because we were playing against like some ramp decks where it was going to be too slow. But it's just fine, and you know it's very good with, with Kefnet and everything. And I don't, don't mind it at all. I liked that we had the Command the Dread Horde in our deck. Yeah, I like this list. I think sideboard-wise, I'm not sure I love the Disdainful Stroke. I don't hate it, though. Noxious Grass was very good. Yeah, pretty good little list here. All right. So there we go. A uh, nice 4-1 over in Mythic. For the last few times we played Grixis Control, it hasn't gone our way. So this was uh, definitely a breath of fresh air. Um, having a nice successful Grixis list here. Awesome. All right, so if you are watching this video later on YouTube, hope you enjoyed it as well. Uh, if you are, give the list a try, let me know how it goes, how, how you like everything in here. But that's it here for Grixis Control. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you for the next video.